Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today is our last lesson on what I call imperative programming, which is really sort of starting you out with the basic building blocks of being able to create uh, computer programs. So um, these are tools that we will continue to build on throughout the rest of the semester, but starting tomorrow, we're gonna do something, uh, not tomorrow, in the next lesson, we're gonna do something new and exciting. Uh, we're gonna move on to a completely new topic. So today's our last day to kind of wrap up some of this stuff. Um, there's a few odds and ends that we have to take care of because I'd like to make sure that you've seen kind of at least most of the commonly used Java syntax. Um, and then we're gonna talk about an approach that you can apply to uh, your homework problems to help make them more robust, to help you find problems. Um, and this is a general purpose approach that you can use whenever you write computer code that involves asserting or making sure that certain things are true as the program runs so that you can um, make sure that your assumptions about how the program is working are correct. So we'll talk about that toward the end of today's lesson. Really glad you're back. You were not alone. Um, hope you enjoyed the lesson.